Good morning. Yeah, it's been a week and it's been a uh, very boring week. Yes. Most of the videos I tried turned out crap, so I couldn't upload it. And well, let's try again. Uh, I'm doing the watering for the mounts at least. Um, did this table yesterday that one is going tomorrow and <clears throat> there is some stuff stuff yeah the one I didn't want because everybody says you need one a shari baby and oh let me take a sniff oh yeah that's chocolate with a little hint of vanilla so I'm not sure if this is a true shari baby but it has a lot of different flowers I already checked that on the internet so yeah a chocolate orchid um yeah there's a lot of stuff happening guys um this one um Does anyone recognize this flowering pattern? Yeah, it's a no ID. It's from the big box, 20 for 50. And yeah, well, it will open eventually because yeah, they're looking really, really good. Um, Varsavixiella. Well, that's obvious. But it keeps on chucking out buds. There are six of them now. Tucked in. Look here. There's one. There's one behind. Um, there's some in the middle. And yeah. That one is going very, very yippy. That's the, the little green zygote. There's the, the big mounted saigo, um, well yeah, it got potted in moss, and well let's see what it does. Yeah, that's always pretty. And it's not even done yet, no. And spike number four is, well, starting. Uh, I have another question about flowering patterns. Oh. It's becoming very, very crowded here. Uh, oh, this one. It looked like it got separate buds, like here. But those turn out to be branches with multiple buds. Three. And this is the plant, it has these ridges which will come with age and this is the latest growth, it's very very floppy but so if anyone recognizes this I think you can identify uh, an orchid by its flower spike but Give it a go. <clears throat> oh yeah, this one, this spiny one, and it keeps giving flowers. It really does. There are two buds, and yeah, it's one bud, but it's multiple. More than one. Uh, yeah, now yeah, well, these are still growing. With a little stuff on them. That one. And <coughs> surprise, surprise. These are the the little minis I mounted on the oak uh, tree. And well they have to get started. But look at this one. That's new, it's all new. And it really loves it and 
with a little bit of luck, that's a flower spike. Yeah, it, it's really going. Look at that here. New uh, root, new root. And um, yeah, is that a flower spike? It could be, but I think not. Uh, yeah, this is uh, really a bitch to water. And I do that outside. It just get, yeah, I drench it. Suck a bucket of water over it. Um, here's the witch's broom. Michael asked about it and I keep forgetting it, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, they were all mounted as single keikis. And as you can see, this is the first one, second, and this is the new growth. There's two. This one is two. There's one starting with this third. And this one is still two, but yeah. It's still growing. It has some uh, cold water damage, I suspect. But yeah, we'll see what it does in the spring. Because that's when they're supposed to flower. Same as with the other nobiles. Yeah, that's going to be quite the sight. It's all kinds of colors, yellow, purple, white, white and green. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it for today. I have some remounting stuff to do. Uh, some repotting that Zygo has to go in moss. Oh, sorry. And those two there, those two, Catlea uh, alaori, and that's the Dendrobium speciosum. And they need a uh, bleach treatment. Both are constantly under attack. And I can't get rid of the bastards. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you can uh, help me identify uh, that one with a strange floral pattern. Uh, is that a Shari baby? And way back in the distance. And, ooh, one more left. Sologini uh, cristata. Um, I'm not happy with it being on a board. And this is the new growth. So, would it be wise to pot this up in something? I believe this is a cool grower, so it needs to be moist. What are your thoughts? Kevestania tolimensis, and that's it for today. Eight and a half minutes later. Okay. Outside. <coughs> Just drench it. Oy. And I don't care too much about water in the crown because it's sending next to the central heating. Oh. This is much better. Hopla. Now we're going to put it in the sun. Oh, please stay upright. There you go. That's a root. Now, 
dry in a minute. Up. Yeah, I'm a Cymbidiums. Uh, this is a species, Ellie Anderson, and it's performing like crap, really. It hasn't done anything over the last year. These, however, oh, that's a big weed pot. And, well, yeah, there's a new grove. Probably not a flower spike, but this one is also doing really, really well. Rock hard bulbs, new growth. Oh. And I think they can stay outside for a month or two. Three. Okay, this was a little bit on the end. Later.